Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be watching Airplane from 1980 and I'm really excited. Before we get started today guys, so many of you have asked me how can I send you movie recommendations? What's the best way? So I was really really excited when Likewise reached out to me and offered to sponsor today's video. Likewise is a free app and it's all about recommendations. You can track all kinds of your favorite movies, books, podcasts. It's also a great way to recommend movies to others. So so if you want to make a movie recommendation to me, all you have to do is go down to the link in my description, grab the app, then you just find my profile. All you have to do then is just go over to the asks section and that's where I've set up a little spot for you guys to shoot me all of your best movie recommendations. And it's really easy for me because it's all in one place. Every time you guys send me a recommendation, it pops up on my phone and I just decide interested, not interested, or already seen it. You just click on suggest, find the awesome movie you're looking for, and shoot me the suggestion, and that's it. You can also leave a little note if you want, let me know why you love it, why you think I should react to it on the channel. So I love that, it's just a nice way to stay organized with the hundreds of requests I have coming in. It's hard to keep them all organized. So thank you again to Likewise for sponsoring this video and for being a great way to track recommendations. I appreciate it. And if you guys just want to make sure you follow the link down below, that would let them know that I sent you. And maybe they'll sponsor another video. That would be cool. All right, so let's get back to the video. I'm excited. So let's get into it. I don't know anything about this movie. I assume it takes place on an airplane and that's like literally all I know, 1980. Yeah, I assume it's gonna be kind of goofy, um, which is cool. Here we go, airplane. This music is ominous. It kind of sounds scary. Oh my God, it's like Jaws. But I know the, is it supposed to be like Jaws? Cause if it is, I love that. I love that it's not just airplane, it's airplane! The white zone it's an exclamation is for point. Loading and unloading. The white zone is for loading and unloading. Don't tell me which zone is for stopping and which zone is for loading. <laughs> Don't start off with your white zone shit again. I was wondering if they were just gonna keep saying that over and over. Would you like to make a donation? No thanks. I know that guy from something. It's gonna be one of those movies where I just sort of recognize everybody. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh really, Vernon? You want me to have a <laughs> Therapeutically, there's no danger involved. I'll be back in a minute. Did they turn the meter on? Flower on behalf of the Church of Religious Consciousness. Would you kick <laughs> Hey Larry, where's the forklift? Forklift! It's over there! Oh no. <laughs> oh well, that's not good. I came home early and found your note. I I know things haven't been right for a long time, but it'll be different if you'll just be patient. I have been patient and I've tried to help, but you wouldn't even let me do that. Sad music. I can't live with the man I don't respect. Mm-hmm. She doesn't respect him. That is harsh. What a pisser. What a pisser! This is Captain Over. There's a passenger on your Chicago flight, a little girl named Lisa Davis. She's scheduled for a heart transplant. We'd like you to tell her mother that we found a donor an hour ago. We must have the recipient on the operating table within six hours. I want you to make sure that she's kept in a reclined position. <laughs> <laughs> I have an emergency call for you from a Mr. Ham. All right, give me Ham on five, hold the mail. I see what kind of movie this is. Give me Ham on five, hold the mail. Okay. <laughs> I promise I can change. Then why didn't you take the job that Louis Nets offered you at- Even if I could, they wouldn't hire me because of my war record. You're the only one keeping that alive. Lane, if you just give me one it's more- too late. It's too late, Ted. She does sound like she's made up her mind, Ted. I think you've lost her. Excuse me, we'd like you to have this- These guys. Of religious conscience. <laughs> yeah. Ted's having a bad day. Latest weather report shows everything socked in from Salt Lake to Lincoln. Glad to have you aboard. Victor, this is Roger Murdoch. Roger Murdoch. That's a cool name. I feel like I have to be watching the background of everything. There's probably jokes happening all over. Can you tell me if Elaine Dickinson is on this flight? Ted, oh, yeah, she is are you board. trying to get on that plane? I'd like one ticket to Chicago. Yeah. He's still got his guy in the car. <laughs> I hope that guy sits there the whole movie. Thank you, this is Red Leader 4. Oh, he's having flashbacks. 
Oh, this is the kid that needs the heart. You relax, and I'll there be back right after we take off. Promise you're right. Every day. We're loaded and ready to taxi. That guy looks really familiar. Like, like, see in the old Mission Impossible TV show because I did watch that with my dad. Like a train. <laughs> Roger. Huh? Huh? Me? Roger? Roger. Huh? <laughs> we have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. Oh my god. Intense music. Is something bad gonna happen? Our arrival time in Chicago will be 10.45 p.m. Temperature there is currently 62 degrees. Uh, there, he's reading the nun's life, but she's reading the boy's life. Ted. I've got to talk Ted. To you. You, you she's have working. Come. I don't have time now. Ted, you probably shouldn't have bothered her at work. No wonder you're upset. She's lovely. She is lovely. Supple, pouting breasts. <laughs> it's a shame you two don't get long. <laughs> Lady. I remember when we first met. <laughs> the mood in the place was downright ugly. I was just thinking like that they have a live band playing as well as strippers. That's pretty intense. But strippers who play the band. Oh lord. What? What kind of bar is this? Oh. Dance break. Her hair! I feel you girl. I wore my scrunchie for the 80s. She is beautiful, side. making me wish I had way bigger hair. Oh, love at first sight. Dang. <laughs> wow. They must have had a lot of fun making this. Wow, multi-talented. Well, they're in love now. Once you dance to staying alive, you're in love. There's no going back. But enough about me. I hope this hasn't been boring for you. Whenever I start to talk about Oh my god, Lane, she I hung always... herself. <gasps> That's dark. I thought you might like some coffee. I want they're like hair. adults. This is cute. Cream? I take it black. Like my men. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Girl who knows what she wants, I suppose. What are you gonna do, Elaine? You love Ted. <laughs> I like her bathing suit. I never knew I could be so happy. My squadron ships out tomorrow. We're bombing the storage oh, depots at Dacre at 1800 hours. I love you, Elaine. I love you. Ew, look at the fish. I wonder what happened between then and now to make Elaine not want to be with him. Joey, we have something here for our special visitors. Would you like to have it? Have you ever seen a grown man naked? What? Uh, <laughs> we better get back now, Joey. No, Joey can stay here for a while. I feel like you shouldn't ask a child that. That's like not cool, man. You're Kareem Abdul Jabbar. You must have me confused with someone else. I don't know. Is that the joke? That it is actually him? But my dad says you don't work hard enough on defense. The hell I don't. Mm -hmm. So that is him. Elaine, just hear me out. Elaine, please love me. All I have are memories. How I used to sit on your face and wrinkle and... It's the way I've always wanted it to be, Elaine. A romantic. Not as long as she would insist on living in the past. What is her problem? I don't get it. Is it because he has, like, visions of his army days? They've cleared you of any blame for what happened on that raid. Isn't that good news? Six men didn't return. For Seven. Lieutenant Zip died this morning. <laughs> oh, my God. I found the tunnel, Johnson! It's this way! Severe shell shock. Thinks he's Ethel Merman. Things coming up wrong. War is hell. There's a little girl on board. Could I borrow your guitar? Oh, <laughs> I traveled the banks so nice. to find where it flows. Thought maybe she was gonna be terrible. Again mm. and again. That guy looked right at the camera. And it's the child! <laughs> Hello. 
Is she gonna die? Oh God, oh my God. Yeah, after the war, Elaine and I joined the Peace Corps. We were assigned to an isolated tribe. Supperware products oh gosh, are ideal for Tupperware storing Tupperware leftovers. Party. These people had been completely isolated from civilization. I started them on simple calisthenics, finally advanced competitive theory. Ted, I don't want to stay here. Elaine had doubts, and that, as much as anything else, led to my drinking problem. Go on what? Hours, I'd probably start to bore you. Couldn't blame Elaine. He's gonna shoot himself. Oh god, he's killing himself. Every time he tells a story, someone kills themselves. That's so dark. Oh. Yes. Oh, it's my stomach. Sir, excuse me, sir. Are you a doctor? That's right. He's literally wearing his stethoscope. What is happening? Why is she doing that? What's going on? This woman what has to be gotten to a hospital. What is it? It's a big building with patients. But tell the captain I must speak to him. I don't even know. What what could this be? Oh no. How soon can you land? Not for another two hours. The fog has closed down everything. Oh. Why is he wearing that? He's wearing basketball stuff? That's scary. I'm pretty afraid of flying. What was it we had for dinner tonight? Well, we had a choice, steak, fish. I don't remember I had lasagna. What did he have? <laughs> he had fish. We're now flying over no big deal. We'll pass Just the south someone's flight crew. My husband's very sick. Can we you do something, fish? please? We both had fish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Every passenger on this plane will have fish. That's how serious is it, Doctor? He had fish too. From there, the poison goes to work on the central nervous system. Poison. The muscles spasm. Oh yeah, food poison. Followed by the inevitable drooling. Quivering, wasted piece of jelly. He's gonna fly the plane. It's Ted. Ted has to fly it. <laughs> That's me when I put on lipstick. Anyway. Ted, we need you. Automatic pilot. Automatic pilot. <laughs> Any place, any place where there's a chance to land that plane. Terry, check down the field for emergency. Are they conjoined? Oh my gosh. H how can they do two different things? It's like I picked the wrong week to quit smoking. Yeah. Get me Rex Kramer. Get me Rex Kramer. 35,000 feet. 34,000 feet. No, He's it's deflating. Flying. Why is it doing that? Because of your co-pilot! Who is a blow-up doll? Is he just doing a there? pelvic exam? Oh my god. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Inflatable dolls just having a cigarette. Nothing left to do if you're going down. Oh, also because afterwards, I see. Unless I get all those people to a hospital quickly, I can't even be sure of saving their lives. Ooh. Is there anyone on board who can land this plane? Ted. No. His drinking problem? <laughs> The music in this is so good. It's like creating so much tension. I really don't think this would be the same movie without it. Is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? <laughs> oh, now you can. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Paul Carey from the airline. I'm here to pick up Captain Kramer. Get me, Rex so Kramer. so excited when new people are here. That's not what you want. Oh, you gotta train liars. your dogs. When they built those roads, they had no thought of drainage. Oh He's just gonna kill himself. Bad accident. Excuse me, sir. The no. cockpit? What is it? It's the little room in the front of the plane. <laughs> That's not important right now. Do you know anything about planes? Look at this guy with the with the with the match. Yeah, please go. I don't like you. Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> it's an entirely different kind of flying. Altogether. It's, it's an, an entirely, entirely different, different kind of flying. flying. This movie is just like puns. Amazing. Come on, Ted, you have to do it. Uh, this is the biggest panel in the entire world, I'm just now realizing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> like, it took me a second to realize how long that shot was going on for. This guy is still in the cab. Where the hell is I love it. We need Rex Crip. Whoa. I know this guy. We were with him during the war. He's driving like a maniac. Felt too much inside. <laughs> Let's turn on the landing lights. Nope, nope, Ted. Nope. I've gotta get out of here. Calm oh, down. Get a hold of oh. yourself. I'll take care of this car. Oh my god. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. 
I love it. Juice for Jesus. Oh. Read about Jehovah's Witness. Boom. <laughs> you know, I flew with this man striker during the war. Let me tell you something, Steve. I was kind of hoping you had another pair on under that. Like I picked the wrong week to quit drinking. Quit drinking, quit smoking. Striker, it's the wrong this week. Is Captain Rex Kramer speaking. I want to take a drink, but I'm afraid I'm going to do a spit take or something. Captain Kramer. Uh -oh. You know, I just forget about everything except he we have He did not like Rex Kramer. I'm going to need all the luck there is. So the way you can land mm -hmm. this plane, have all of yourself. You gotta talk about it. You gotta. Flying a plane is no different than riding a bicycle. I want you to disengage the automatic pilot. The controls are still very heavy compared to a fighter. Don't worry about that. Just floating around. <laughs> all right, I'm going to level with you all. But the other two pilots are just fine. They're at the controls Ew. flying the plane. <sighs> Imagine your nose did grow like that if you lied. It's a damn good thing he doesn't know how much I hate his guts. It's a damn good thing oh, no. you don't know how much he hates your guts. There's some trouble on your husband's flight. You can let yourself out the back uh, door. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is a, a goof. I'm so hot, I'm burning up. Turn on some air. Too much air. Why do we start down? Not just yet. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. Yeah, this is gonna get progressively worse. I wonder what's next. Stricken airliner approaching Chicago. That's their news. They knew what they were getting into. Let them crash. Would you like a little whiskey, ma'am? Certainly not. Oh, certainly not. <laughs> yeah, she's just fine. Oh, the 80s. Surely there must be something you can do. Stop calling me Shirley. Huh. I've never been so scared. Besides, I'm 26 and I'm not married. And we're going that, to make it. Girl, I feel ya. I've never been so scared. At least I have a husband. <laughs> Ted's getting sweaty. I forgot to check the oil pressure. Uh -oh. This shit's gonna hit the fan. Ew, I was hoping they weren't gonna do that. I was crazy to think I could land this plane. Ted, you're all gonna die, including you. Andy Lane, who you love. Fog is getting thicker. And Leon's getting larger. What is his deal? Why can't he drink anything? I was in the war myself. They brought in a badly wounded pilot from one of the raids. He said, the odds were against us up there, but we went in anyway. I'm glad. The captain made the right decision. The pilot's name was George Zip. Excuse me, Doc. I've got a plane to land. OK. Good pep talk, I guess. All right, Ted. The Let's sick go. We're in critical condition. We've got to land mm -hmm. now. You know what a landing like this means? You more than anybody. Stay up there. No dice, Chicago. Biggest no dice. Foot's on the other hand now, isn't it, Kramer? He'll never make it, Miss Soup. Never. Not one chance in a million. He's in charge. Boss. Head man. Top dog. Big cheese. Passenger certain to die. There's a sale at Penny's. <laughs> I really like that guy. We're going to the tower. The tower. I literally work with so many guys like that. Uh, I love him. Super fun. Why would they show that? I was on a flight once where they showed a movie that had a plane crash in it too. I was like, what are you guys doing? Your husband and the others are alive, but unconscious. Where did you get that dress? It's awful. Bud. Whatever light you can get poured onto that field. In a moment, we'll ask you to assume crash positions. So when I give the word, pull the cord. Oh, isn't that cute? It can't come straight in. It's got enough fuel left for two hours of flight. We have people up here who will die in less than an hour. I may bend your precious airplane, but I'll get it down. Dun 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 dun. That music is so intense. I'm very proud. Aw, that's nice. Gear is down, and we're ready to land. All right, this is it. Land too fast, use your emergency brakes. That lady. That doesn't stop you. Yeah, yeah, cut it out. Cut the four ignition switches over the co-pilot's head. Okay. I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. Oh. Yikes. Uh. Here it is. Okay, okay, Ted. You're coming in too fast. Too hot, too hot. All right, now everybody, get in crash position. What? <laughs> Whoa. Remember your brakes oh, and switches. Just kidding. 
Too hot. I think they're gonna make it. Uh, too hot. Too hot. are down. Down. Okay. 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 No. I just wanna tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. They're right in the middle of it, man. Now arriving, gate eight. Gate, uh -oh. gate ten. Oh, oh no. Gate At least they're down, but yeah. Let's get to a gentle stop. Woo. Thank God they assumed crash, crash position. I just want to tell you both. Good luck. We're all counting on you. You already said that. That guy's so weird. That was probably the lousiest landing in the history of this earth. But airport. it was great. I'd like to buy you a drink and shake your hand. I just want you to know that when the going got rough. <laughs> Can I say thank you for flying trans and serving Yeah. <laughs> Never happy as a child. Sorry, Tennyson. Dumb question. <laughs> Skip that. <laughs> Did they just crash? Municipal bonds, uh. Ted. Best investment in America. <laughs> Okay, Ted and Elaine. I'm waiting for like the final joke. <laughs> Check out! He has a lady! Yeah, that was good. I like that. It really is Kareem! Yeah, who are you? What would I know these people from? Love it. Okay guys, well that was airplane. I took a, a wee break. I went and got myself a treat. So yeah, let's, let's talk airplane. I really liked it. I thought it was so silly. And you know what my favorite part is that I feel like I probably missed a ton of jokes. I feel like you could watch this movie many times and find new things to laugh at every time, which is awesome. I just feel like, there, yeah, there was so much going on in the background of every scene. You know, I was laughing at one thing and something else was probably happening. So I feel like you could 